yes, you read the title right. You can finance vinyl, and I'm going to tell you how. So let's go right ahead and get into it. I am a late bloomer. Some of y'all probably know already. Some of y'all probably don't. But I'm kind of late. <laughs> but I caught on, and I am here to give y'all the hidden gem. Um, I don't know if anybody else have done a video like this. If they have, shout out to them. How you can finance vinyl. You have different payment options when you check out a certain stuff. I have two sites right now, but I'm doing research to find more. And when I find more, I would definitely do a part two, three, four, however many I need to do and let you guys know. So you have Klarna and you have Afterpay. Now I don't get paid to say these names in any way, shape or form. I wish it, I wish I did. I would love to get paid for that. You have Afterpay and you have Klarna and then PayPal also has an option where you can do four payments on whatever item or whatever. Afterpay is what I have specifically. It's basically you can put a whole bunch of stuff or however many stuff you want to put into the cart and then it will make you pay like every two weeks you can change the date or when you want to pay you could pay it in full whenever you feel like it or however you want to do it site number one is vinyl me please so vinyl me please is a very cool website they tend they specialize in all genres but they have a lot of r&b and hip-hop choices so what you do is you go onto the site, you can sign up, or you can check out as a guest. But if you want to like keep an order history of your stuff, just sign up and create create an account. Um, they do have membership choices, but I don't think you can do after pay with that. I haven't tried, but I don't think you can. Go, you choose a vinyl that's available that you want. You don't have to pay the full amount right then and there. You have the option to do the after pay, the Klarna, or the PayPal, um, the for payment, you know, option. Once you add it to your cart, you're going to go and check out and go through the steps of putting your email, your first and last name, number, and all of that good stuff. And then it's going to go to the payment option you have where you could put your debit or credit card. You could do PayPal. You could do Afterpay. Once you do that, you chose Afterpay or PayPal. And when you go to PayPal, you can either choose one of the cards that you have listed on your PayPal or you can slide over where you could do the for payment. You choose the option. You have to sign up for Afterpay. And sign up for Afterpay, you say PayPal, um, put your card and everything in there so they can have a card on file to charge. Say that you lose your card. Say that you your card was stolen or it's damaged or anything of that nature because I just had to go through this like a week ago. You have the option to change your card, even if you choose one particular card to do the payments on. If you lose that card or you don't have that card or maybe you don't have the money on that card, it's on another one, you can actually switch it. So I was scared because I thought I couldn't do it, but I was able to do it. Once you do that, it's going to give you the amount, it's going to take a percentage out from the beginning and it may make you pay like $20 depending on how much the item is. It may make you pay 20 12 or 13 or something like that. You pay in every two weeks, they're going to take it out. That's how you find this vinyl records. Um, that was Vinyl Me Please. So Vinyl Me Please is very cool. I have a lot of different vinyl records that you guys have seen. That's where I got the Whitney Houston, Whitney Houston box set from. That's where I got a, the Brat vinyl, so many different vinyls. So, and you don't have a limit of what you do. You, so the next site that you can do this on, and I know for sure it takes Afterpay and Klarna and PayPal, is Urban Outfitters, where you can do different payments. It's not just on clothes, it's not just on shoes, and also buy stuff from the lifestyle options. So vinyl records, whatever Urban Outfitters have, you can use those options. <laughs> and you don't have to pay it in full right then and there. You can do breakdown payments. I have some stuff, when I found out about it, I was like, okay, let me do that because it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So I have like three vinyls that I'm financing right now. One is for pre-order from Vinyl Me Please, and two of them are from Urban Outfitters. And it works for pre-orders on Vinyl Me Please and Urban Outfitters. Pre-orders, non-pre-orders. So that is it. Urban Outfitters and Vinyl Me Please. It makes sense to me. You know, I, I don't know how you guys feel about that. I know some people are kind of ashamed to finance, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Save money. Yeah, that is all. Make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe and follow my social media down below in the description box and click the bell to be notified when I upload. And on doing this or if I have done this, let me know in the comment section. Tell me your experience and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.